We got Mike TV with the $5 super chat. Salute to the host. Salute to the chat. All right, let's get it. So, like I was saying, a person can say anything to me. And so... Mike, I'm going to keep it a stack. You sent a $5 super chat. Still don't like you. I'm going to take your money. Ah. Still don't like you. Let's rob that nigga, man. Yes, son. This is why I will... So what did he say that was so wrong about the facts that he brought up? Those were legal <laughs> documents. You can't deny that. Uh, I've even asked you this beforehand. You haven't answered this question yet, but yet you tell us we're deflecting. So we're giving you the floor. You can't say we weren't fair. You can't say we were misleading. The chat can't say I wasn't overfair. Matter of fact, I was so overfair, now they think I'm sipping, which is great. <laughs> it is what it is. But I don't care. So now they can't. There's no denial. The chat think I'm a simp, so they can't say I didn't give you fair grounds, but you still haven't answered anything. What what was the falsehood? You're saying you're, you're being very vague. I hope you Same understand that. And then when we did point you down, you then turn around and tell us we're gaslighting. I had to mute myself several times. Then you come at me, tell me I'm a girl. I've literally given you so much rope. They think... Mike TV says, you don't have to like me. You're watching me and sharing me because I have the content. Go get a burger. Thanks for the money, nigga. I might just go get a burger. I might just. And not all attention is good attention. You should learn from Daryl Long. You want to see Daryl Long right? You want to see bad attention right quick? Let me show y'all some bad attention. This is what happens when you're too thirsty for attention. You get some bad attention. I knew Daryl Long was your nigga at one point. Let's react to some of this. We got Tommy cooking him. This is this is hilarious. Let's get to this. Not all not all attention is good attention. Some people fuck up and think that's what it is. To be able to have and Lawrence and Rodney, I want y'all to judge this one out of ten. Check it out. My bad, y'all. I'm sorry, I did not give y'all the disclaimer. I just went right into it. Pause. I did not give y'all the disclaimer. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is Now, this is Mike TV's man's. This is his man's right here, Simp God. This is Daryl Long, pussy that's popping up in every comment section. Bitch ass nigga that tried to call me a liar and I had to bring the evidence to prove him wrong. This coward. This guy. Nope, we're seeing it. We're sprinkling a, a little bit of zest in here. Shout out to Tommy Sotomayor for that um that clip. Let's get back into it. So answer. What what's what is it? You can't Nah see Mike's the type of person that digs up lives and tries to expose people that he has no issue with for random reasons. So Mike, let's try that. If you don't like LTTV, let's try that. Because I'm the dumb, entitled ass nigga that thought I was gonna be famous a long time ago being a failed rapper, so I live my whole life a certain way. Come try that. Let's see how that'll work for you. Because there's things that people know that they don't disclose on air. So try it. Now let's get back to the reaction. Thanks for the money. Ah. I will enjoy that burger. With zero down, no credit. Yeah. Why is that upsetting? It's only upsetting is if it's bringing something to light that she didn't want the general public to know. She did not. E Black already exposed. Uh, you said expensed, but I guess you meant exposed Mike TV. E Black has receipts on a lot of people too. Y'all got to understand, I don't fuck with Mike TV off a of principle. He's done nothing to me. It's strictly off a of principle. I will always make those decisions. When I see a person that I do not fuck with and I see their principles don't align in any type of way, I'm like, yeah, I'm out. It is what it is. You'll be excluded. You'll be in the chat dropping super chats. I ain't going to bring you up for no clout. 
You're not going to be in a, in a, in a stream yards panel. You could do that on your channel. You got more subs. So have at it. Anyone can say anything. And That's why you fucked up, Melanie. Anyone could say anything. That's why I played that Stephen A. Smith clip in the beginning, because everybody can just get on the internet and run their mouth. And y'all give them validity, credibility by even having a discussion with them. Documented. He was in Yanni's chat, super chatting her, trying to convince all the women in the chat that, oh, I don't usually speak to women like that. I don't usually. He sent a bunch of super chats. I seen him in Yanni's chat trying to convince the, all the women. So when he says, oh, he's for the people, he is for pleasing the audience. He will just hop on any wave and try to expose people that somebody doesn't like because he knows that he can get the haters of other people. It is what it is, man. Baby Rose says Mike has been on her for years. She's finally giving him the attention he wants. He's and he's so wound up like a high school girl about to fight. Yikes. But she fucked up. Ultimately, she fucked up. She has to hold her L in that regard. She's had a tough week. She should have never called into any of these streams. She should have just left it alone. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's get into it. Thank you.